Hey everybody, it's Drake. Oh, wow. oh. Warning before this video starts. If you are hungry, please go grab something right now. Doing this video made me starving. Ain't no one got time for that. Let's go. Today I want to discuss something a little bit different. For a while now I've been watching videos on cruise lines, cruisers commenting on food. Hi, yes, the steak, please. I'm the uh, Yelp elite. All right, we got a Yelper. Give it that special attention. You got it. Eee. Food of MSC in particular. And if this food is good or bad. To be honest with you, the food's not bad, okay? It's, it's not horrible like the rumors say. Now, could it use some work? Yeah. Heck yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. We had heard hit or miss, and mm. with every cruise line, there's probably a meal or two that are hit or miss. I'm sure. There was no exception there. I mean, there was a couple of misses. Hey. Uh, and we've like, we're in a meat coma. Oh, it was, it was so yeah. good. Rewind. Uh, and we've like, we're in a meat coma. Oh, it was, it was so good. Boom! Yeah, I, gen I genuinely think it might be the best meal we've had on board, yeah. I think it was perfect. So Butcher's Cook gets a big thumbs up. Bomb.com. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? And my experience has been on MSC that the food is absolutely wonderful. It's also a really, really great value if you look at price. I wanted to just discuss in this video, Butcher's Cut. And I first would like to start with addressing what people have said as to MSC's food is inadequate, subpar, uh, if you're a foodie, don't bother. And maybe we could dig into this a little bit deeper and see really if there's something else going on here. So what I'd like to do is throw up three pictures, well, maybe four right now, and let's compare these pictures. And why don't you, just by looking at these pictures, being a foodie or not, pick out the one that you think is MSC. What MSC would offer to their clientele? I'd buy that for a dollar. Do you think you have it? Is it easy? I don't really know. But anyway, here's the answer. I'm not here to make anybody feel bad. I don't think it would be fair to judge MSC's steakhouse on a boat in the middle of the ocean that's owned by an Italian liner and judge it completely on the quintessential American steakhouse. It's easier for our country to produce beef uh, and beef items as opposed to other countries. So in Europe, 
beef isn't as prevalent as a dish as it is here in the United States. We judge a lot of restaurants by what we have here. However, obviously steak and uh, beef is an international affair. Plenty of places in Argentina, the Philippines, Singapore, Australia, right? Brazil, the United States, Spain, right? Even Italy. A few moments later. But really want to focus on the restaurants here. What should we really compare this type of restaurant to? And so I looked up the 25 and 45 best steak places in the United States. I didn't want to judge MSC to Peter Luger, which is quintessential Brooklyn Steakhouse, been around forever, Delmonico's Steakhouse, um, you know, going into the Dickas or the Elway Steakhouse. Um, there were great places to pick. But what I did was pick regionally, as far as for the United States, three steakhouses that were pretty much you would put into a top 20. So the three steakhouses that I went with are Uno Bavette's in Chicago. Chicago has a lot of steakhouses. If you're from Chicago, you might have a favorite one. I thought Bavette's, as to what they offer on the menu, would be very, very close to what MSC offers on their menu. Also, the cuts of beef, the selections of beef. That's all expensive. Does MSC have the ambiance of Bavette's? No. But... When someone is trying, or a company is trying to make a steakhouse like an American steakhouse, MSC got very, very close. I personally like it, and I like on the seashore that you can eat outside, overlooking as far as for the ocean. Anyway, I'm getting off subject. Let me just say, Bavette's Chicago would be number one. Number two. I chose Burns in Tampa, Florida. This is a steakhouse that's been around since the 50s. Claim to fame is that Byrne, who's the owner, got into collecting wine way before everybody else in America. And his wine collection is today approximately about 600,000 bottles. Um, again, aged beef and going with one of these quintessential steakhouses. It's always funny looking at restaurants that have been started in mid-century of last century their menus tend to be huge. Thrust. The third contender for this, American Cut in New York City. Now, New York is known for its steakhouses, like I said, Delmonico's, Peter Luger. I went with something a little bit off. It's, it's in Tribeca. You guys from New York know that there might be other places that you prefer as far as for a steakhouse. But again, this is this is subjective. And this would make a very good discussion as to what really being offered by all of these places as to what we all really get. I'm putting MSC as a challenger and Bavette's, Burns, and American Cut uh, as the champions so far. But let's see if they can retain their title, or if there's a newcomer on the block that's gonna take them out. Like Round one. Let's take a little bit more in-depth look at Bone Marrow 
MSC. Burns. American Cut. The Vets. O M G Winner MSC Round two Shrimp Cocktail MSC Burns American Cut The Vets Winner, Bavette. Round three, Crab Cake, MSC, Burns, American Cut, The Vets. No. Winner, MSC. Round four, Goat Cheese, MSC. I'm sorry, I got the big goat's cheese with caramelized blueberries on the top. Oh my goodness. So it's got pastry at the bottom, goat's cheese, and then the blueberries on top. So it's like kind of creamy and sweet with the pastry. It's really good. You don't say. Burns. American Cut. <laughs> the Vets Winner MSC Round five Caesar Salad MSC Burns American Cut The Vets Winner Burns It's all good Round six Lamb Chops MSC Burns American Cut The Vets Ah, oh, damn it. Winner MSC. Round seven, filet mignon, MSC. Burns, American Cut, The Vets. Winner, MSC. Boom! Round eight, Tomahawk Chop for two, MSC. This is small one, uh, Tomahawk, it's called a Tomahawk. It's the same as ribeye, but with the bone and obviously a bit double 
It's the same cut with the ball. This is dry edge. It's called it's Asian. It's dry. Burns. American cut. The vets. That's all expensive. Winner, MSC. Side dishes are also important that a lot of people don't think about. From looking at some of the bills and from when I order, sometimes a mashed potato uh, and a little Brussels sprout could equal almost $30. What meal isn't complete without side dishes? Always have to have those. Round nine, mac and cheese. MSC. Burns. American cut. The vets. Surprise! Winner, the vets. Round 10, crispy fries. MSC. Burns. American cut. The vets. Don't get all butt hurt. Winner, Burns. I've talked about the other restaurants that have been established. Let me say some things about MSC. MSC is using dry aged beef and they've aged it anywhere from 21 to 28 days. Oh, that's a little affordable. I'm putting MSC as a winner. If you enjoy this channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you're informed about every time that we post a new video. We'd love to see you and have a wonderful day. Thanks for your support.